Hello and welcome to my blog update for May 2023. The big news today, of course, is that exactly one month ago today, on April 28th, my newest single, Present Dreams, was released on all platforms, including Bandcamp and SoundCloud, plus all of the main streaming and um, commercial download sites like Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, Apple iTunes, etc. And Tidal. I think that covers them all, actually. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. The feedback so far has been really, really amazing and so encouraging. So first of all, deepest thank you to everyone who has had a listen, who has shared it around, who has interacted on my socials. It's it's just so deeply appreciated and um, I, I can't thank you enough. It um, Getting to connect with people and being able to put something into the world that people genuinely enjoy and find value in and adds richness to, you know, their their playlist, their life in general. That is that is the whole point of it all, right? Is um to to offer something that people will like and enjoy and will nurture something within themselves or help them grow. That's my ultimate aim as an artist really is to to be able to to nurture people on their path for however however it is they want to grow wherever it is they want to go oh look at me i'm rhyming um <laughs> that is ultimately what i hope to accomplish with all of this so massive thank you again to everyone for sharing it enjoying it making it part of your reality i really appreciate it and um I'm sure Ben and Dee, my new mix engineer, also appreciate it as well. So um, as you possibly saw with uh, my enthusiasm, enthusiasm with my enthusing, that's the word, enthusing on socials these past few weeks, I'm a bit out of practice with the whole vlogging thing, you know, switching from month uh, to month from weekly, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a brain teaser. But anyway, moving on, Jen, where was I? Yes. <laughs> I am sure that Ben and Dee also appreciate it, and um, very excitingly, as I mentioned, Dee is our new mix engineer, taking over from Joel, who has um, previously mixed and mastered and recorded um, all of my other stuff, and Dee has done such a fantastic job with Present Dreams as our first cab off the rank together. I'm so excited. He really went above and beyond with... Um, basically everything about Present Dreams. So super, super grateful to, to Dee as well and really welcoming him to the team and very, very excited to have him because he is absolutely brilliant. He is also now in process of working on my next single, which will be Midday Blue. And it's going to be my first solo release since my EP last year. And um, it's going to have a couple of very special guest performances. Like I, I think I mentioned previously, it is going to have M on piano. <laughs> It'll also have um, my friend from ASC, Australian Songwriters Conference, Paul Wire on guitar. So very excited to have both M and Paul on my next single, Midday Blue. And that one, yeah, stay tuned. It's coming out. I think it's probably going to be. M's birthday, September 1st, because that's a Friday. And I just love the idea of putting out a single that we've, you know, worked together on, on M's birthday. So I think I will, I'm going to go ahead and, and aim for September 1st. I know it's a bit of a long way away from now, it being the end of May, but I like the idea of spacing it out from Present Dreams. And I also, like I said, I love the idea of releasing it on M's birthday. So I think I'm going to lock it in here, right here, right now. Friday, September 1st, Midday Blue will enter the world. All right. The traction being generated with Present Dreams is so exciting. So following suit with um, Vibration Angle in November and Life Soaked Reveal in December, as of last, this past week, um, Present Dreams also has had some community radio airplay here in Melbourne on in a 96.5 FM's New Groove segment, which runs on Monday nights 
from 10 till midnight and then Wednesdays and Thursdays at the same time they do a, a replay of that Monday night segment and um, yes so Present Dreams was in this week's lineup it uh, came in came on at 11.35 so I was just sitting up listening to to this to the um to the program and you know in in typical paranoid fashion I'm like oh no what if they forget to, to include it what if it's not actually in this one and like the whole time I was like waiting just waiting and staring at the uh, at the <laughs> at the website being like when's it gonna come on <laughs> so it was it was of course on and it was you know, so fun to hear it again, um, announced by host Adrian Hook. And um, yeah, it's it's just really cool to have music out there being broadcast into the community and um, getting to connect with people that way as well. So very exciting stuff. And I'm looking forward to continuing the momentum with Happy Mag, which is an Australian youth entertainment organization. And they have written a review of Present Dreams, which is fantastic. And I'll, um, I'll chuck a link to it there, down there in um, the description somewhere. And I will also be writing a um, little piece about my creative process for them, which is going to go on their website later this week. So that's pretty exciting. I'm just putting the finishing touches on that. And um, yeah, I, as you know, I love to waffle on about my processes. And so this is, this is a great, uh, a great outlet for me to do that in written form on a platform that um, I think has a lot of people who will connect with um, what it's about for me. And so I'm really excited to be able to have that opportunity to put some thoughts out there and hopefully, you know, reach some people who feel similar or are interested in connecting with works that reflect those processes. I guess we'll see, right? But um, I'm sure it will, it will reach more people and, and be a fun thing for everyone involved. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. And um, beyond that, what other news do I have? I am, of course, continuing to develop skills. I'm continuing to train vocally and um, learn from M and I'm really, really wanting to to get up the confidence and skill level necessary to perform my songs in more of my songs in a public space. So I've done Midday Blue. I sang that one for the first time earlier this year in a public space and that was very cool. Very it was a learning experience. And I am, yeah, just in the process of building up my skill levels and my confidence levels to be able to deliver the rest of my, frankly, more vocally challenging songs, especially in, in front of people and not worried about, not be worried about missing notes and um, mucking things up. So it'll be, it'll be a fun time. And that's my ongoing pursuit and focus at the moment is developing my live performance capabilities. So that's where I'm at this month, I guess. This is a really short seeming vlog update for not having posted another vlog since early April. Early April? It must have been early April. Um, I feel like I must be missing something. I'll, I'm sure I'll remember once I press the stop button and then I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, I was meant to um, to mention that. Or not. Maybe I'm just getting better at being succinct, but I suspect that's not the case. I don't think that's, that's happened. <laughs> anyway, I will see you for next month's update.